Hello, Dan Adolkowski here from HowToMechatronics.com. In this Arduino tutorial, we will learn how to use an SD card module with the Arduino board. Also, in combination with the DS3132 real-time clock module, we will make a data logging example where we will store the data of a temperature sensor to the SD card and import it into Excel to make a chart out of it. But first, let's take a look at the SD card module. It works with a standard microSD cards which operating voltage is 3.3 volts. Therefore, the module has a voltage regulator and a level shifter so that we can use it with the 5 volt spin of the Arduino board. The SD card module has 6 pins, 2 for powering the module, the VCC and the ground pins, and 4 more pins for the SPI communication. Here's how we need to connect it to the Arduino board. Note that each Arduino board have different SPI pins which should be connected accordingly. Next, we need to program the Arduino. Here's a simple code. So first, we need to include the standard SD and SPI libraries, create a file object and define the chip select pin of the SPI bus, the pin 53 in my case for the Arduino Mega board. For this example, we want our code to be executed only once. So, all the code will be placed in the setup section while the loop section will remain empty. So, first we need to start the serial communication and define the chip select pin as output. We have to do this because the chip select pin needs to be low so that the SPI communication between the module and the Arduino works. Next, using the SD begin function, we will initialize the SD card and if the initialization has been successful, the if statement will become true and the string SD card is ready to use will be printed on the serial monitor. Else, the string SD card initialization failed will be printed and also the program will be terminated. Next, using the sd.open function, we will create a new file named test.txt including the file underscore write argument, meaning that we can both read and write to the file. If the file already exists, the sd.open function will just open it. So if the file has been successfully created, first we will print the string writing to file on the serial monitor and then using the myfile.println function, we will print the text testing text 123 into the file. After that, we need to use the close function to ensure that the previous data written to the file is physically saved to the SD card. Next, we will see how we can read from the file. So again, we will use the same function sd.open, but this time as the file test.txt has already been created, the function will just open the file. Then, using the myfile.read function, we will read from the file and print it on the serial monitor. The read function actually reads just one character at a time, so therefore we need to use the while loop and the function myfile.available to read all characters or the whole previously written data. At the end, we also need to close the file. Now, after uploading the code to the Arduino, if everything is ok, the following will appear on the serial monitor. As we can see, the SD card has been successfully initialized, the writing to it has been successful as well, and also reading the written data or the string testing text 123 has been successfully read. If we open the SD card on our computer, we can see the created test.txt file and the written text in it. So, that's the basic working principle of the SD card module and now let's make another more interesting example of data logging a temperature sensor. For that purpose, we will use the DS3132 real-time clock module which has a built-in temperature sensor as well. You can find more details about how to connect and use this module in my previous tutorial. So, after connecting the two modules to the Arduino, let's take a look at the code for this example. First, we need to include the libraries needed for both modules, then create the two objects and in the setup section initialize them. In the loop section, using the serial.print function, we will print the time and the temperature values on the serial monitor, with a comma character between them and a new line after the temperature value. We need this form of the lines so that we can easily import them and make a chart in Excel. 
Also note that the temperature values are converted into integers. So these same values will also be written into the newly created test.txt file and at the end we just need to add a delay which will represent the interval of recording the temperature data. After uploading the code, the Arduino will start storing the temperature values each 3 seconds. After a while, we can open the SD card on our computer to see the results. For creating a chart in Excel, we need to import this file and here's how we will do that. From the data menu, we need to click get data from text button and select the text file. Here we will choose delimited and click next and in the second step select the comma as delimiter and then finish the wizard. So this process will insert the time and the temperature values into separate columns. Now we just need to select both columns and from the insert menu select insert line chart. This will create the chart where we can see the temperature values each 3 seconds. That's all for this tutorial, thanks for watching and for more tutorials and projects visit my official website howtomechatronics.com